In my previous video, I did demonstrate how you can actually use the Behringer's Q802 USB mixer to record two separate tracks of vocal and guitar. And in that demonstration, I did use a simulated guitar. And that's what we're looking on the screen. And that prompted me, maybe I should make a demonstration how you can use a single take guitar and make it wide stereo without any artifacts or without any phase issues. And if this is what you're after, you're in the right place. Stick around and I'll show you. If you are recording and producing a song that includes guitar and you want wide guitar effect, the best way is to do multiple takes of the same section of the guitars and then you can pan them left and right and that should give you a great wide guitar effect. But if you are stuck with one take of a guitar and you want to achieve that little bit of wide guitar effect without any of the phase issues, unlike some others where you can duplicate the track and nudge a little bit left and right and to get that uh, timing uh, change and you might get a little bit of that uh, white stereo guitar effect but the problem with that is the phase issue and as soon as you hit the mono button or you listen on um, on a smartphone it which is not stereo there are still around, uh, you will get that phase cancellation and your guitars will not sound not only wide, um, they, they actually might cancel out and you won't be able to hear them the same level. But in this example, let me show you how you can achieve a better outcome wide the guitar without those artifacts. Okay, let's solo our guitar and that's our guitar. This is what it actually sounds like. I'm just going to select it and uh, select the loop so it loops. Okay, that's our guitar. So let's uh, achieve some wideness into this. Let's open up our control panel. And here I'm just going to add a send. Here, a new stereo bus. And add a second one. They're called bus D and E. That is fine. And at the same time, while we're here, we might add uh, uh, some bus to our vocal as well. Okay, let's drag over here. So now we have bus D and E and F. Let's call it uh, a Vox uh, Reverb. And what we need to do is uh, add some effects into this. So we've got a send that's going, two different types of sends that's going to be added into our guitar. And what we're going to do is add our... Cakewalk, uh, Sonitus Reverb. Right there. Just by default, that is fine. The only thing I want to do is remove the whole dry out because it's on a channel. And I'm just going to click and press my control key on my Windows and uh, because Cakewalk only runs on Windows. So control key and drag it and I'm just going to drag another copy as well on each of the tracks. So I'm going to select the second one and this time I'm just going to change some of the parameters. Uh, I might put a little bit of pre-delay here. I might make the room size a little bit smaller uh, and just change some diffusion right there. I think that might do enough for now. And for our um, vocal, let's give our vocal uh, uh, sort of um, vocal. Oh, yeah, that's, that should be fine. Okay, so now let's have a listen. I'm just going to turn all our reverbs down. So what we did is now we used the guitar, tap into the guitar signal and send it to two different type of reverbs. Okay? And then one of them, I'm going to pan it to the left, the other one to the right. Okay? Let's have a quick listen and I'll add the reverbs in. That's the dry signal. And now we have the reverbs in there. Notice how stereo it is. Let me uh, mono the master. 
That's how original was. Let's mute. That's without the reverbs. It's right in the center and dry. Now we have uh, why the guitar? Because of uh, the changes that we did to the reverb, and you can play around with those, the settings, now the left and the right reverb is no longer the same. And adjusting those parameters will give a different effects to the left and different effects to the right in reverb, thus giving the ear the, um, the illusion that the guitar is in stereo field. That's with the reverbs there. That's without them. Of course, you can expand even further. Here we are. We are singing the song of one chord to demonstrate how to record two separate tracks onto our DAW. It's very hard to sing with one chord. Let's mono. Here we are. We are singing the song of one chord to demonstrate how to record two separate tracks. And as you can hear, our guitar levels are exactly the same. They don't change between mono and stereo because there's very, very minimal phase differences between the left and the right. I hope this helps you out. I hope you can become more creative. As I said, the best option is to record um, multiple takes of the same part. But if you're stuck with one track, like this one, <laughs> like this uh, silly song uh, with a simulated uh, guitar, then you can go ahead and use this technique to achieve a better result. If this helped you out, make sure you give me the thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great time making music. Cheerio.